All right, there's the tortoise and the hare. All right, and we all know the story, the tortoise and the hare, where this rabbit, we'll call him, and this turtle, they're racing, and the, and the rabbit keeps taking breaks, and the tortoise just keeps moving along, moving along, moving along. And the rabbit is so cocky, he keeps taking breaks. And the tortoise keeps moving along, moving along, moving along, until finally he wins the race. Very, very famous story. But it's funny how basketball and sports in general, they're the opposite. You get these players who are unbelievable at basketball, just like from the offset, because their parents were tall, their parents went to college to play basketball. Um, they happen to have very, very good coordination early on, right? And those players are the ones who want to work their hardest because they're given that chance. And they're told, you're amazing, you're amazing. And then they go out there and they just want to be a part of it. And every time that they work a little bit, it measures a lot during the game. So they want to work more and more and more. They're the rabbits. And then you get these other players who are maybe a little frumpy, a little um, uncoordinated. Maybe their parents hate basketball and don't even bring them to practice. And those players are less likely to work. So not only are they the tortoise, they're the ones taking the breaks. And they're saying, let me try out these many other sports. It's all good. While the rabbit maybe can't even afford other sports. And he's going along, 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 along. Now, I'm not saying that you should just play one sport, but you should probably just play one sport and pay for that one sport. You should play all the other sports in your spare time in your free time with all your friends. Like I used to play um, street hockey. I played baseball. Um, I played dodgeball. <laughs> I played tag. I played football with all my friends after school. The only sport that we ever paid for was basketball. But that's because that's all that we could really afford. So I was lucky, I suppose, but I was a rabbit and I kept going. But. Again, I had all the confidence in the world bestowed upon me by everyone that was watching me cheering me on. And I understand if you don't, because as a black American, we're not told that we can become doctors and lawyers. We don't see those things on TV as often. So we think that we truly can't become it. So I know what it's like to be an unathletic basketball player, even though I was an, an athletic basketball player. Because when you're told that you can't do something, you're, you tend to believe it. So, all you tortoises out there, if you want a chance, pretend that you're in that fable and just keep moving and keep going. Because I'll tell you one thing, the, the rabbits may be trying hard, but they're not trying their hardest. They're just like the rabbit in the story to, for the most part. They're taking breaks because they know that they have you beat. But unlike the tortoise in the story, you guys are taking even more breaks than they are. Outwork them if you happen to be a tortoise in life. Outwork that hair if you happen to be a tortoise in life. Do as the story says, and they will take enough breaks to give you a chance. I promise you, all right? So the tortoise and the hair story, we got it backwards. We got it backwards, but we also have it spot on if you can follow it to the letter.